Hey guys, welcome to Tropical Flower Gardening. I'm Dr. Manisha. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the red passion flower vine, which is also known by names like scarlet red passion flower vine, grape leaved passion flower vine, crimson passion flower vine. The botanical name of this vine is Passiflora vitifolia. Uh, viti in Latin means grapes and folia is the foliage or the leaves. So that passion flower vine which has got leaves resembling the leaves of the grape vine, hence it is called Passiflora viti, vitifolia. So it's a nice way of remembering why it is called Passiflora vitifolia. So it's an evergreen climber vine which is native to Central and South America. Uh, this vine has got woody trunk uh, and it gets numerous branches and stems which have got coiling tendrils and these tendrils cling around the support with the help of which it climbs and it gets very beautiful and showy uh, red color flower which are 4 to 5 inches in diameter flowers have 10 sepals and 2 rings of uh, coronal filaments the red and white color and it also has 5 yellow stamens flowers attracts, attract a lot of birds and butterflies after the floric season is over, you get a small berry like fruit and this fruit contains seeds and seeds can be used for propagation of new plants. This plant does not flower throughout the year but the flowering season is from spring to summer and the flowering starts in my garden sometime in February and it continues well up to July or so and thereafter the flowering slowly and gradually stops. And uh, this vine uh, also you will find new growth shoots uh, found, uh, which are found at the, gro uh, at the ground level and yeah you can see in this clip there are a lot of flowers which are growing um, on the stems along the ground because new growth shoots are found at the ground level and they produce many flowers close to the ground and uh, you can also see lots of uh, lots of buds which have come on this vine see these are all the tiny tiny buds which you can see on this vine uh, so uh, this vine does best in full sun and it needs uh, fertile and a moist well draining soil and the water requirement of this vine is average. Uh, it doesn't need any special fertilizers and I give my regular fertilizers which I give to all the plants so that is cow dung manure and vermicompost, neem cake, fer neem cake fertilizer. So these fertilizers uh, along with uh, some bone meal is given every few months or so and uh, uh, if you you need to if you, you can grow it in the container as well make sure you provide support for its climbing stems and the tendrils around which the vine can uh, the, and the support is used so the tendrils can use it to climb and uh, you can also grow it easily on uh, trellis pergolas arches fences arbors and similar structure it's this vine grows quickly and it is easy to grow and um, propagation of this vine is also easy from seeds uh, from stem cutting as well as from layering and uh, the flowering season as i mentioned is from uh, is from spring to summer so after the flowering is uh, completely over you can do some pruning because uh, the new flowers the flowers will come in on the new growth so uh, just before the flowering season starts so sometime in uh, you know in winter you can do some pruning but make sure you don't do any hard pruning because it will notice that um, the branches which are allowed to hang loose and droop a bit also tend to flower the most. So guys with that we come to the end of this video. How did you find this video? I hope you found it useful and informative. Uh, please post your comments, like and share this video and I will see you in my next video. Until then take care and happy gardening.